Greetings and salutations. This is Jason Silvray, and today we're taking a look at Error, Human Not Found. Now, this is a little visual novel puzzle game made in Rempe. It's completely free on Steam. It was actually made in January 2018 by um, Cell EC Games. And, again, free game. It's all out there. It's been on my list for quite a while to play. It's somewhat educational as well. So, let's begin. Now, I have been told this has taken some people up to five hours, others only one or two. I'm going to guess it's going to take me about three. Okay, in the year 2056, Earth underwent catastrophic climate changes. Those changes wiped out swathes of plant and animal species. Hey, it's a future where we're actually pretty accurate. In response, the United Nations started building the Noah Sphere. A neutral space station, the Noah Sphere has become a symbol of hope and arc of preservation. The Noosphere launched in 2008, now orbits Earth. In 2017, the first true artificial intelligence was created. Alpha, as he was dubbed, was quickly joined by other AIs. In 2067, the Markov project was also initiated for the purpose to upload AIs to Android bodies. Alpha volunteered to be the first AI to undergo the process. 24 hours after Alpha's upload, I suspect things have gone horribly wrong. Error, human not found. Okay, prologue the summons. Entry database unlocked. Grace Fortam. The character we're playing. And art style wise, it is a bit of an eclectic collection. I must admit, it does look a little strange. Okay, Grace types away at her computer. Grace bracelet beeps and flashes. Hold on, I'm busy. Just a second. Okay, okay, I get it. Answer the bracelet. Grace Fortan is hereby summoned to appear before the Conclave effective immediately. The recipient is to suspend all further research until after said appearance. Virtual sec Secretary. And again, the faces looking a bit strange. Okay, further instructions will be provided by uh, Director Heroes. Really? The summons? I have so much work to do. Would it have killed her just to stop by my lab instead of having a secretary call on me? I'm not her servant. Grace marched out of the room. This is quite the large space station. You'd think for this kind of thing, the space station would have to be quite small. But anyway. Good evening, Grace Fortan. Please wait here until the council's ready to assist you. Good evening to you too. No sense not being polite. The secretary of AI perks up and uh, smiles at Grace. You're most welcome. Help yourself some complimentary oolong tea. A cup of warm oolong tea appears on the platter, raising from the desk. This tea was brewed and please grown inside the Noah Sphere's oxygen garden. Taking a sip. Mm, freshly made tea. Now, again, what gets me, we're on a space station. Obviously, we've got artificial gravity, otherwise that tea would be floating everywhere. And, well, it just had it ready for me already. Surely you'd have to want to do the request and then produce it, just to avoid waste? Anyway, the oxygen garden workers report this is their best harvest to date. I can taste it. Grace grows more and more impatient. What is taking so long? Grace sat down her cup of tea and approached the heavy doorway of the conclave. Uh, members meet. Voice could be heard from the crack in the door. There's a crack in this door. How? It's a freaking sealed door. Grace listens in to listen, uh, leans in to listen. With Alpha deceased, Aid is growing agitated and pushing for answers. We need to rein her in and keep an eye on the Elder's AIs. Colossus is getting, uh, is, is keeping everything quiet for now, but it's only a matter of time until something gets out. Alpha, after all, was the first of them to acquire physical form. There's the risk of an uproar. How is Blue responding to this? Blue is concerned, but she's holding her own. No excessive dis disobedience. This is Chief Canoe now. She seems primarily curious and perhaps a little anguished. It's hard to tell when s someone has a screen for a face. Blue flashed a sad face and began to explain with random emoticons. I expected as much, and Watson? Well, you know Watson. He's difficult to get in touch with. Probably, probably off gallivanting around in some system, having a grand old time and unaware what's happening at home base. A-W-O-L uh, as usual. At least we don't have to worry about him for now. He'll probably get in the way. He certainly would. When he resurfaces, however, we'll want to get in touch. We have a priorities to attend to in the meantime. 
The project leads are all suspended until further notice, correct? Yes, Director. When, ex when will external investigators be here? 18 hours, Director. Good. Please ensure no one gets in the way. Speaking of which, Grace should be here by now. Well, that's not sinister at all, is it? With the weird masked hoods. Hardly scientific at all. Anyway, the doors slide open. Grace stumbles into the room to be greeted by Director uh, Robert uh, Heroes and the four chiefs of different divisions on Noah's here. Okay, so we have the director there, looking very stern and angry. Grace Ruby Fordan, he's dropping at the door. How very mature of you. Okay, we've got the chief here. What is the meaning of this, uh, Dr. Fordan? You dare eavesdrop on, a, uh, eavesdrop on a conclave meeting? Inconceivable! Director, are you just going to allow... Grace, you should know better than this. Our meetings are private for a reason. This is a breach of protocol. I couldn't help overhearing. Cray talks awfully loud for a conversation that's supposed to be hush-hush. Excuse me, but what is going on? What happened to Alpha? Why don't you take a more reasonable tone and discuss what occurred? My tone is always reasonable. I want to know what happened to the AI I was working with. That's not a proper way for you to speak to the director. Check your manners. Mind your own business. Well, I never. Whatever, Godo. That's enough for both of you. Hero stares down Grace from her platform. Director, please inform me of the current events involving Alpha. We are no longer certain. Sorry, we are not certain of what transpired here, but unfortunately, Alpha is no longer with us. But how? I tracked his transmission. He was completely processed. Everything was working perfectly. That's what we don't discern. Alpha was. As I said, the root cause has yet to be determined. We've ordered a team of external investigators to inspect the situation. Why external investigators? We couldn't keep this amongst our own crew. Almost everyone on, our, on the station worked with Alpha. We need an unbiased examination of the crime scene. We also need to interrogate all those involved to truly determine who or what was at fault. Every, everything was running smoothly as of yesterday, including his neural network. Any type of malfunction should have been caught in the system. I can't just believe that something like this happened. All glitches were worked out with a prototype. This cannot be random chance. We can't believe it either. We... Grace, you were summoned today because your involvement with Alpha's process. Your research should be, shall be suspended until I have a clear idea of what happened. I'm going to continue asking questions rather than argue. So nobody has run any sort of diagnose, sorry, a diagnostics on his system or even a preliminary examination of the machine body? No. And while this is an urgent matter, we need unbiased eyes. Any work done by the station crew will contaminate possible evidence. What? We have some of the highest trained professionals in any scientific field, and you're waiting for some random team investigators. This is up to isn't it? This isn't up for debate, Dr. Fortin. The lab is off limits. You remain in your living quarters until the investigation is over. Until then, you have restricted access to the Conclave and Labs. But did you check his charts? Did you search for his database databanks at least? Did you look for anything that might suggest what, was, what occurred? We're leaving that up to the investigators. As for you, please do as I instruct. As difficult as it may be for you to believe, there are other people who are capable of figuring out what happened to Alpha. <laughs> Alright, fine. Keep me informed. I want to know what happened. Now, why am I the only person who's been called here because of this? I'm thinking scapegoat. I wonder if they had something to do with it. Grace entered her lab to be greeted with the sight of an android. It's Ada. And again, why the dreadlocks? That is not a efficient form. What? Who are you? What are you doing in my lab? Grace, it is I, Ada. I've uploaded myself into my android so I may un uncover what happened to my friend. However, I cannot hope to accomplish as much as I have liked without the physical advantages you humans possess. Oh, give me a break. Alpha just died and now you're in my office? I've got enough on my plate right now. If someone finds you in here. I am not sure that I care. Alpha was not just my associate. He was my friend. Alpha is dead now and I need to know what happened to him. Yeah, I understand his death is unnerving, but a lot is happening right now. The conclave is shutting down the labs and everything. They're bringing, out, uh, they're bringing outside investigators to find out what happened to him. I want to know what happened too, but we've got strict orders from the director. When did the investigators come? 18 hours. That is more than adequate time. Time for what? What are you planning? 
If you wish to help me understand the circumstances that led to the death of Alpha, then we will find a way around the orders of the Conclave. Are you with me? Special dice, make it clear who's boss. I am going to agree. Yeah, let's work together to figure this out. If I don't do this with you, I know I'll regret it. Alpha deserves better than a delayed investigation. My thoughts exactly. I was not be able, so I was not able to be there for him then, and I but I want to be here for him now. Who better to look into this than an AI and a researcher who know the place like the back of their hand? Memorize, so humans memorize the backs of their hands. Ada studies their hand. Uh, no, never mind. Shall we get to it then? No point in waiting around, getting caught. Absolutely. After you. Journal has been updated. All right. Hopefully, it will tell me how I can actually check my journal. That'd be quite nice. I believe that'll be important. So. First things first, we need credentials. I think the best place to start would be the director's residence. We need to require her credentials to access the crime scene. And the two start to leave. Ada stumbles. Uh, are you going to be alright? It might take me a moment to get used to walking, but if a um, homid like yourself can figure it out, then I anticipate there's all difficulty in doing so as well. Alright, that's the prologue done. On with chapter one of Machine... Uh, sorry. Was that of Machines and Machinations? I didn't get the chance to read it. It faded so quickly. Here we are. Scan my badge. And bar. Uh, open. The board doesn't budge. A voice issues from the speakers near the door. Access denied. Tosh. The director is not here at the moment. Please make an appointment. What? I usually have access. And why do you have access to the offer to the director? Because she's my mother. Oh, okay. Y you didn't know? That point was never present, uh, never present in my databanks. That's the director for you. Why bother with unim de unimportant details like family? Regardless, we need to get inside. Let me get the door. An awkward silence hangs. And this is supposed to... It seems to be having a malfunction. I can usually do this with little thought as you can't give breathing. Remind her she has a body. Sass her. Let her know what's wrong. You're not in the system anymore, Ada. Any connection you had to the system left when you jumped into that body. Interesting. I'd hope to retain my connection to the network of the sphere. Yeah. Do you want your um, circuits lightly salted while you're at it? You'd have you'd be fried in seconds. What? I thought these neural networks were supposed to preserve me. Just preserve you. Wireless interfacing was going to be a feature in the next model. I would have. I would think the whole "I've got a physical body and get to walk around" would be enough for a thank you. Also, if they've got no wireless, which seems very, very silly, um, I'm guessing the weird dreadlock things are supposed to be where they plug the head into the computer system or something. My turn to try and open the door. Watch my back. We don't want to get busted before we even start. Yeah. What are you doing precisely besides tearing apart that defenseless panel? Call it a manual override. Alright, to process, uh, so proceed past certain parts of the game, you have to solve various computer science based puzzles. Of four types, you will encounter with three difficulties each. Each puzzle will have a tutorial before it, de detailing how to play. These can be reviewed in the notes. Alright, we have hints. Thankfully, there's no achievements, so who gives a. You know. Oh, wait a second. You have. Num oh, limited tries, which means you have to retry from the start, maybe. Right. To solve the gamma puzzles, you need to fill the tree on the right with the correct tiles. All sorts must be filled with val valid substitutions to win. Fill in the sort by dragging a tile from. Okay, so we drag tiles. Forget that. Button can always be placed in any slot except for the top position on the tree. Placing a button in the tree will consume an attempt. A button can be returned to its starting uh, position without consuming an attempt. Okay, the segment highlighted below contains specific rules for each variation of the puzzle. S, I, okay, this is a, or a rule. Okay, modify strings by, all right, we're going into actual frigging programming. I've not done this in over, in several decades now. This is not going to be fun. All right. I'm going to have to note this down, so. S goes to QS Q goes to goes to KM S goes to K 
goes to RB. R goes to change. B goes to world. So is RB change world? K is small. And M is sister. Yeah, sorry about the weight there. So Q is small sister. S is uh, change world. And S goes over Q and S. All right. Solve the grammar puzzles from top to bottom. Every child of a node from row must be filled in before the child tiles will change color. If the tiles are in correct substitution, the backs and the protective parts will turn green. If it's incorrect, it will be red. Okay. All right, final string is produced. Any tile placed below the red tile will not receive feedback. All right, so we have S. Oh, there is more. They've got the instructions here as well. So S goes to K and S. All right. K is SS. There is no M right now. So S. K. And S. I'm guessing this S, because it's S listed twice, which feels a bit weird, is M and J. And then S and S. Big sister is watching. Password accepted. That's not too bad, that one. Very simple code breaking. But yeah, first try, still got it. No one can touch these elite skills. Are you positive that being here is within protocol? If it makes you feel better, this isn't the first time I've done this. I feel from your statement requires some elaboration. Let's just say whoever updates keycard access needs to do their job faster. Hello, Dr. Fortune. Hello, Tosh. So this is where Tosh is centered. Sorry for not greeting you. I did not notice you should come in. Dr. Heroes is not available at the moment. What is the purpose of your visit? Rank, try to bluff her. Mm, dismiss her. Oh, I think dismissing her is no point. Um, I'm just here to grab something for my mother. Oh, that's no issue. There's something you can't have to confirm. Hold on. Hmm, who are you? I'm not firing a badge or serial number associated with your profile. I made her. Sound familiar? Give me a day. I figured I'd recognize you. You're looking very human today. I'm, af I'm afraid I'm going to ask you to leave. You do not have authorization to be here. What is your purpose, Tosh? To serve Dr. Heroes, best of my ability, please vacate this uh, premises. It would be unpleasant for us if we had to call in security to remove you. Oh, I would not be so hasty if I were you. I do control your update schedule, Tosh. If your next update, you would completely destroy your scheduling capability, you would be ruined really for sure. I would hate to be inconvenienced director that way. You may stay, and I may experience some downtime while processing an update, and will not be able to log this visit. Thank you very much for your cooperation, Dodge. Ada's vicious! She's just threatening to, like, cripple one of her fellow AI. Though it was called VA, a virtual assistant. I wonder if it's actually as intelligent as a normal AI, or if it's simply a kind of, like, lesser version of a true AI. Okay, now we've passed the gatekeeper. Let's get what we came for. It almost hurts to admit it, but I'm incredibly jealous of his office. I don't have the same view from my little lab. You're looking at space. Space is pretty identical. Investigation portion of the game. Talk with a character and search the room. Talk to someone clicking on their silhouette. Search the room. You can move the arrows. Have a ta some objects have... Okay, some locations are objects to investigate. There's a tally. Certain objects uh, trigger puzzles. Okay. Search the room. A collection of exotic trees with seeds imported from Earth. It's rare to see this much plant life in in the office of a space station. I never understood how it's fine that heroes can get a small forest to herself in her office, but I barely get the clearance to have some potted plants. Is it not natural to humans allocate more resources to their leaders? You're still talking like we're in tribes or something. 
robotism, botticism, conquer, if members, all of these form their own identities. It's not the de definition for, sorry, definition of tribalism, but I, I suppose just because you're technically right doesn't mean you've won this one. I was not aware we were debating. Would you like to? This is really not the place, Ada. I don't want to spend any more time in this amazing office than necessary. Alright. Nothing here. It's free items to investigate. Lukewarm herbal oh, sorry, lukewarm cup of herbal tea. The lid on it has reusable cups of a tendency to be slightly too big and must pop open without warning. It's truly the worst nightmare of any late working scientist. Makes me nervous seeing that drink sitting by a computer. Well, that AI hasn't even been physical for a day and she recognised the lid's a hero is suspicious at best. Is the lid structurally unstable as well? Yes, I swear these things barely stay on even when the cup's standing still. Wait, how do you feel to have stuff spilled on you? When I was young, a, te a technician spilled some coffee on into a sector of my service. I, su I suppose you would liken it to be set on fire. Oh. Alright, desk is made for um, Heroes' stenographer. This old-fashioned style of recording events is hardly s so it's rarely seen anymore, but dedicated practitioners and the art of writing shorthand have kept the profession alive. Which is Heroes' ha Insist on having an actual person transcribe her meeting instead of just getting one of those audio recorders is beyond me. It does not seem that odd to me. The director must always work at peak efficiency. It's efficient they have to do with it. Ada shrugs off the motion stiff. Perhaps she just prefers to read. You got me there. I know we've got the password thing here. Okay. Computer provided heroes for your work in the conclave. Countless documents, research notes, policies and procedures live on this machine. So we need to hack this and we should get her credentials. I am to assume the way you're looking at me are that I mean I am to hack it? Hey, I got the door. Teamwork means equal opportunities. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that quote, that's quite nice. Alright. Solve the puzzle, change the pipe so that the final segment of the pipe on the right matches the output light. To change the colour of a pipe, drag a drop a blue gate from the top to the screen to an empty blue slot. Gates in the puzzle at the start are static and cannot be changed. Static gates are dark blue. Light blue gates are movable, may be moved to any slot. Gates can be returned to a starting place without consuming an attempt. Attempts is used any time a gate is moved to a valid spot on the pipes. Meaning if you run out of attempts before getting the lights on the end to turn on, the puzzle resets to one of the three variants. Finish a hack, you must swap, solve three uh, logic gate puzzles. Uh. Alright. Logic gates have their inputs. Um, represented by the truth tables yellow is no uh, oh is it binary oh god yellow none yellow is zero green is one red is minus one. Oh my god okay x zero was first input Okay, X1 is two is a second. And we've got Y0 is the is the uh, output. Oh goodness me. The not gate is unique that it requires only one input making I yeah. I, I'm just not getting this now. I have been told that screenshotting the um table is Possibly for the best, but I'm just going to do it old school. We're going to write it down, and if you want to play along, pause with me and get it yourself as well. Oh god, this is the one I was dreading, and these are the easiest ones. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, my brain's already melting. My, I'm going to pause. I'll be right yeah, back. This explanation's kind of lost me. I'm not going to lie. This is not fun. Okay, what am I looking at? What am I even trying to do? Inputs. Output must be green. Um. So, if I look at the gate information we had previously, um, so it's this one that kind of needs to change. 
we only have one thing to pull? Wait, if I make them both green, won't they, uh... You know what? No. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Duh, there's only one place you can put it. Um, yes? Okay. So they're turning each other to zero. That's a plus one and a minus one. But that... But that's a... Oh, because it's a different way you go? We've got to make it green in the end. Um... That was pretty much trial and error, I'm not going to lie. I completely guessed that. That's not a fun way of doing a puzzle. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Oh, dear. <laughs> I need to make this red. So if I'm right. And then... Oh, what was it now? I think I need to make this an or gate, maybe? I don't know. No. And then red. There we go. I, again, that was mostly random guessing. I, oh, that was not, I don't look forward to the harder ones of those. I did not even have to spend any of my normal printing process to crack that. Grace, your mother does not appear to keep any personal or secure information on this terminal. Of course not, that would be too easy. Grace looks around thinking. She's got a personal computer, wait, it's probably there. I would like a word with you, but please, before we enter the personal quarters of the director. That's fine. And back. I don't like the fact we can't access the journal down here. Alright, I want to look at the journal. Now, we have general notes of the puzzles, which is nice. Oh, good, they have these here. That would be, that's far more useful. Why didn't they just post this? Where it had actual examples. Ye gods. Yeah, these, this is what I should be screenshotting. But, yes, we've got the personal journals, which would be nice. Do we have character journals? Because it said it was unlocked in... Um... Yeah. Fair enough. There's not really that much here. I'm going to read through this before we continue with the story. And I'll catch you next time.